Hey guys, you want to see one and only? My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Mansion on a very cold day <laughs> here in the UK. I've got my jumper on. I've got my uh, thick socks on to try and stay warm. I'm feeling pretty cozy right now, but we've been doing a lot on the interior lately, and I thought we we're going to take a break for the, from the interior this episode and work on the outside. So I got a Facebook message very recently, uh, well, yeah, a week or two ago, something like that, I can't quite remember, uh, saying, in this spot in the front garden, do you have any idea of what you want to put? And I said, no, I said, I don't really have an idea. And the person responded back by saying, what about some topiary? So I thought, you know, I've never done topiary before. If you don't know what topiary is, I'm sure you've seen it, but you might just not know the word. Topiary is basically where you shape a bush or a tree to look like something else. Now, obviously, there's competitions and stuff throughout the world for the best topiaries, and some of them are absolutely mind-blowing. It's not quite as easy in Minecraft because we only have full blocks. Unfortunately, we don't have leaf stairs and micro blocks. Uh, if we were doing this on The Simpsons World, we could make something look totally epic. But we only have full blocks for this. I'm thinking about using oak or... Like, jungle's a thicker, a thicker looking one, but I think oak just suits the garden. No, hmm. Hmm. Like, let's pile some up together. So basically, I want to build a topiary in the front garden here, and to be totally honest with you, I don't know which one or, or how it's going to end up looking. I don't think it's going to look totally amazing because we... We don't want it to be too big. I think I like the oak better. Um, I don't think it's going to look totally amazing because of the scale that we have to try and keep to. Obviously, we can't have a horse that goes up to... <laughs> well, we can't have a horse that comes up to, like, here. I mean, that would make no sense at all with a giant uh, horse uh, topiary in the front garden. So we want to try and keep it small uh, and to scale. But obviously, the smaller you go in Minecraft, the less detail you can fit in. And when we're doing something as tricky as a horse, it's not an easy build. Uh, it suddenly becomes even harder. So I think what we want to do is start off at what level we want the sort of legs to be on the ground at. And I don't think I want to go more than one block off the floor, do I? Or... We could go two blocks off the floor and use, uh, well, they stairs. That's the word. <laughs> stairs. If we do this, uh, how, how wide is this horse going to be? Like three blocks would probably be good. If we're going to do it three blocks wide, then we want like a five block total. Is that right? Or should we go even like that? Yeah, that should work, and I don't know how how big we're going to do it, so I'm just going to do it to here for the moment. It will probably be bigger than that, uh, but let's have a look. Uh, now, horse shape isn't the easiest shape to do anyway. Not even Minecraft itself does horses in, let's say, a realistic way. The Minecraft horses in the game are very square. A real horse isn't, but we might have to sort of square it up a little bit in order to make it look like a horse. <laughs> Or, yeah, ish, something like that. So what we're going to need to do is uh, do the back legs. I want this to be, like, on its hind legs, like, standing up, if you know what I mean. So there's its back legs. And then we need the next section, which is the thighs of the horse. Now, in real life, I don't like horses that much. <laughs> I, I'm a, I think it's because I'm probably a little bit scared of them. Uh, they're very big. They're bigger than me. I don't trust anything that's bigger than me. And I think that's a fair statement. I don't think that's uh, too too nasty to say, is it? And then it comes up the back. Something like this. Obviously, what we want to fill in, really, as we go, to make it as thick as possible. See, already that's getting really big. But we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Would these look better as jungle? I think they do, you know. I think they do. I think we oops, I think we need to switch these out for for jungle wood. I really think that looks so much better. Just because 
they're thicker. I really wish we had the micro blocks though. If we had the micro blocks, we would be able to shape this exactly how we want. In fact, I'm pretty sure we could have like a, a, only a few blocks tall horse and it would really, really work. Okay, and I saw I've missed some there. Well, we'll carry on. We'll see how it goes. I don't like removing things that I don't like from a world. Uh, you know, it takes a lot for me to go, Ugh, I really don't like that. So most of the time, I sort of leave it there a few episodes just to see if I do end up liking it. And I don't like how this both these legs are in the same spot either. I think I want to maybe... Move that one back, move that one forward, and that one even further forward. Oh, that looks better. That looks better. Yes, 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 yes. Now, we could make this out of stone uh, itself. That could work. Um, we'll have a look afterwards to see what if that would be a, a better option. Um, we need to try and get this tail in here. Like... Hey, that's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see that tail there. And then we want something like... Like that for the tops of the thighs. And then we start on the belly of the beast. So maybe the belly comes out like this. And up here. And then this is up its back. And it won't be too far away from the front legs now. I can't see. So if we had that like... Like there, and then this is where the front legs are. Is that a horsey shape? Yeah. Yeah, I can see a horse in there. I can see a horse in there, definitely. So then we want this to come out there, and there, there, and there, and then these are its hooves. Ah, yes. Yes. Now this part is a, a little bit flat at the moment, definitely. Like, we haven't really got too much dimension so I think what we're gonna do is maybe add a bit there and take those ones out that gives us a little bit more shape to the the belly then aha that one and that one what does it look like from this side oh it looks good from this side as well yes 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 okay so uh, tops of the arms we're gonna come up like here and there Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do this in a tutorialist way as possible so you guys can build it if you like it at the end yourself. Okay, I really, really like that. And then the head starts somewhere here. Uh, if we add that one and that one. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> this isn't looking too bad. Um, and then like this. The trouble is the main. The next problem is the main is actually going to be the same... Um, uh, the same block as the head itself. So the main isn't really going to stand out all that much. But that's pretty sick. What if we used like spruce? It's probably the darkest. It's the most different one um, to jungle. Yeah, if we used spruce as the main... Oops. Oh, what would that look like? Oh, I, I actually like that. Check that out. Oh, my. There, 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 and there. Dudes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I think that's nicely scaled as well. I don't think it's too grossly big, do you? I really like... You know what I'm tempted to do? Is do another one next to it, facing it. Oh, man. I think using the two different leaves was a great choice. Definitely. Absolutely. Is there anything... Like, I like the head shape, but is there anything that... No, I don't like that. Is there anything that we can do just to touch it up? Oh, that looks better. Yes. Yes, that's horsey. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thanks for the idea. I can't remember uh, who you were. Um, I'll have a look on uh, on Facebook afterwards to go back through the messages. I get so many that I can't always <laughs> remember all the names. I, I'm terrible, absolutely terrible at names. Even on uh, like Minecraft story mode, I played so much of that, and I still can't ever remember all the names, all the characters, people on there. It's uh, it's quite frustrating, but great idea for the topiary. Absolutely uh, stunning idea at first. I was unsure. I was like, can we get this to work? Can we get this to look uh, like a horse? And I think we've pulled it off. So this goes something like this. Oh, and then whew, it wasn't even harder is now trying to do exactly what you've done in reverse. It's in Possible. <laughs> it is so hard. There and there. Do we like both hooves being the same, or do we want to like maybe poke one of them out? No, I think I. No, I think I like them both sort of hanging down in front of them. Don't you? I think I think I prefer that. Okay, and then this belly section. Like that. And then out on the bottom. Down for two blocks. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, no, it's more than that. Is it more than that? No, 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 no. And then it comes in again. For two blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, so after we've done this, I want to try and do the courtyard as well. Located directly behind my horsey here um put a nice tree in there some nice paths make it like a really nice uh section to walk through you know it's it's uh, a main way from your front garden to your back garden it's going to be used a lot therefore it has to look really really nice uh there and there and then there there and there Yes, 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 yes. Don't go too far ahead. You'll lose where you were. Like that. And like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm so pleased. I think we judged the platform pretty well as well. Yeah, the legs are like perfectly in there. Okay. And then it comes there. No, it goes back. There. And there. Oh, man. Uh, down. This comes straight down now, doesn't it? Straight down right to the leg. One, two, three. It should be one, two, three. And then that one. And that one. But we're doing it in reverse. We want it like that. And then this one is one, two. And then one. Or one, two, like that. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? It looks weird without the tail. A horse looks so strange without the tail. Who would have thought that? Okay, and then... Join those two up. And that one. And then the back... Is like... To one above. To there. And I think that's it. I think we've got it. Okay, and then the main... Uh, we'll try and do the main in the same way, because I think that looked the best. Whoops, I fell. Hello, I'm back up. That one. That one. Was that how we done it? That looks about right, doesn't it? Yep. And then the tail is, like, two blocks down from, like, the little hole. And then one out. Four blocks down and one out. Okay, four blocks down. One, two, three, four. And one out there. Okay, that looks great. I think that's... I think I like the stairs as well on here. Um, we went two blocks further out the front. And two blocks further out the back. With stairs surrounding it. So, there's all of the stone bricks. Ugh. And then, stairs... What about upside down stairs? Would that be better? 
No. Don't like it. I like it this way up. Ah. Oh, well, that's, that's a real relief. I thought this episode was going to be, we build it, and we touch up on a little bit, and then we don't like it, so we end up changing it to, like, stone bricks. And I really didn't want that. That looks that looks so cool. Yeah, couple of benches down in that area. Um, nice spruce or oak? Oak. I think oak would be nice around here. Yeah, a nice uh, bench there and there, and then a nice bench on this side as well. At the moment, there's no access into. Oops, there's no access into this garden area though. Maybe we'll have to think about that. Like, put a nice path out here. Like, where would we join it up to, though? Would we want a bridge? A walkway bridge? Over this part of the land. We haven't really got enough room, though. That's the problem. Like, if, if I'm thinking about having, like, a bridge over here. Like, a, a, a path bridge. I could have it over that section. Hmm. I think I like that. So the sound of that. Okay. Um, for the walkway, I think I'm going to use stone slabs. So we'll pull these up. Now we obviously want it high enough to get over a vehicle. Uh, so maybe there. And then a vehicle could drive underneath. Maybe. Well, we also want to make sure that it's... Do we want it on that level or the level above it? Oops. I think I want it on that level. I think that'll give us more building options. Okay, we don't need it that wide either because it's only for people. So I think three blocks wide would be good. And I think it's too far over towards the garage as well. Oh no! Like that. Like that. Nope, too far. That one and that one. Let's get a splash potion as well. I'm feeling a little bit slow. We might not end up getting towards the uh, or getting to the courtyard today, unfortunately. I think it'd be really cool to try and finish this section off. Okay. And then I want this bridge to maybe start coming down here. But that's this is the trouble. You need it walkable, so you need it every half slab to come down. And then maybe one more. And then we come out, and then we drop it down this way. Oops. There. And then... Uh, go and get underneath. <laughs> that one. And then... Uh, how am I going to do this? There. That's it. That's it. And then... That one. Perfect. Okay, that's really, really cool. Definitely big enough to get the car underneath. And then we'll do the same on this side, but instead point it that way. So when did the stairs start coming down? Directly on top of the quartz. Perfect. That's easy enough to remember, isn't it? Like this. Come down. We probably want to bring it down the same amount as we did on the other side as well. So, one, two, three stairs. One, two, three stairs. And then this is where it then comes out for like a square section. And then it comes back down this way. Oh, a bridge. I would not have thought when I first started this series, I wouldn't have thought that I'd be building a bridge in the front garden. But I'm so glad we did. There, there, and there. We always said that there was no access into this part of the garden. And I never really liked that. You always want to have... The option to go into any part of your garden. It's your garden. Um, and, and we never had that. What block now though? Like some spruce? Or do we keep it with... I think we keep it with stone. I think we keep it with stone. So we're going to want some stone bricks. Some slabs. Maybe... Did I? Have I been using silverfish bricks? Doesn't look like it. What about on this side? doesn't look like it Whew. I always panic about that I was like oh, did I have I uh, maybe we'll use some of these chiseled stone bricks and maybe maybe some cobblestone walls I don't know to maybe run along the the edge or something like that so let's start in the middle 
We'll run those down on either side. And yeah, cobblestone walls along the top here. Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, just something nice and simple like that. I think will work the best. Okay, and then we'll do... Hmm. Like that? Why does it curve around like that? Oops. Because I need to place it this way? Yeah. That way. And then... That one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so tricky. Uh, that one. And that one. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, we could place the cobblestone walls over here like this. Uh, but I don't think that looks that good. What if we swap these out with those? Hey, that looks okay, doesn't it? That gets rid of the struggle with the blocks as well. That one. That one and that one. And then this one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, do I I'll go off camera and work on this? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just stay together for this episode. We'll come over there and down on this one as well. What a cool looking bridge though. Uh, that one. That one. Okay, and now we need to do the difficult part, which is the curve. Let's start off on the easy section, which is around here. And then we need to make sure that we do underneath it as well. So we need one more. That one. Oh no, that one's going to be that. And then that. And then cobblestone walls go over the top here. Oh, I've forgotten a, one of our chiseled ones. I love these chiseled blocks, but only if you use uh, some. Don't go crazy with the chiseled blocks, the rounder ones. Uh, because if you go too nuts with them, it sort of takes away the specialness of the block. Uh, and they end up being a little bit... It looks a little bit crazy uh, instead. Okay, now we need to come up here. Now, this is the difficult part. Do we just run all the way up like that? Or do we leave it like that? I think we leave it like that. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, down this side... Again, we've got the easy section here. Uh, in fact, did I have... I've got that. One, two. One. Two. Is that how i done it? No, I had it on... That one. So i got to move this one back. Yeah, that's right. That's better. I thought something was a little bit wrong. And then move this one back as well. To there. This one is chiseled. And then we come around the side. Wrap this around. We're going to have to have a look to see what it is like underneath though as well. Uh, when we walk underneath it, I think we might need a couple of small adjustments on there. That one and that one. Uh, uh, uh. And this side as well. Uh, how did I do this? We definitely want that one and that one. That one. That one. <laughs> uh, that one. And that one. Is what it was like. So when, when you're doing something mirrored like this, it's so tricky to try and get everything to, to match up. There we go. Okay, and then we had those two. That one and that one. Okay, so the bridge looks great. Underneath it, you know, underneath it doesn't actually look bad at all. Doesn't look bad at all. We could put in maybe a glowstone block bang in the middle. Ah, oh, but it's just on that lower part. And if I do it on... Well, I could do it on that level, but a carpets.
takes away the, the bridge. No, and when we go down a step, it's not going to work, is it? Hmm. A light in there would be really, really cool. What if we had it on the side here instead with a redstone lamp, a quartz block on top, a quartz slab, sorry, on top of it, and then a redstone lamp to hide up underneath it, which means we're going to need the bricks back to be able to replace that with. So we put the torch down here, brick on top, that one goes there, slab on there, and we do the same on this side. There, 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 and there. Just gives us a little bit of light under that bridge, makes it a little bit more of a feature. I really like that. Now we want to grab our gravel and aim our gravel. I still need to stripe this part of the land. I didn't want to do that until we knew what we were building here. Otherwise, I would spend like an hour or so or more trying to stripe the land and then half of it gets removed when we build something on it. I didn't know what we were going to build at the time, you see. So we have this running around here. Keep it as random as possible. Try not to think about how you're placing these. Just sort of place them. And at the end, if uh, if something isn't quite looking like there's enough gravel there, or if it looks like there's too much gravel there, you can then remove them. If you think about it too much, you actually end up unintentionally making a pattern. And as soon as you make a pattern, it sort of takes away the randomness of the... Uh, uh, of the path itself. So we want to bring this out to about there. And the same on this side. Make, make it go a little bit wider there. And that one. Looks pretty good. I think we've got that pretty flawless. Maybe just a couple down here. Yeah. Uh, one there. I think that looks pretty even throughout. There might be a too much right there. There you go. That looks like an, um, uh, about an even width throughout the uh, throughout the path. Doesn't go too thin in some spots and doesn't go too fat in some spots. And that really, really brings that all together. Ties it all in. So here we probably also want... Do we want an area going out to there? No, I don't think we do. I don't think I want a... Do I? Do I want a path? Like off here somewhere? Like off the corner or something like that? Yeah, let's give it a go. So we probably want like that much room. And I probably want to get a load of gravel here at the start and then start weeding it out. Oop, lighting glitch. this now we start getting a little bit thinner now that we've moved away from the stone we've put a nice transition in from the stone it doesn't look too abrupt and now we can start putting more and more uh, grass in there and really starting to break it up so we want this one to go pretty much straight this way which is the hardest to do in this random pattern like when you're doing a diagonal it's an awful lot easier uh, like this like that one and that one and that one and that one and then once we get here, we want to sort of join it up to this one over here. Oops. There we go. You know, have you noticed that I've stopped saying poop? I've got out of that habit very recently. That's all I could... When I made a mistake, I'd be like, oh, poop. And it was really annoying me because I knew it was the only thing that I was saying. I think I've broken the habit. I think it's passed, which is amazing. Okay, and then I want to drop it down this way. Maybe to the to the middle or all three? No, just to the middle one. Like this. Make it go a little bit wider. Like that, like that, like that. And those two like that. So now... Oh, that looks so sick. Yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, maybe a few normal leaves. Just... Uh, to try and border this off just a little bit. Um, sort of do more clumps than anything. Like, we don't want a, a straight fence. We sort of want a, to clump this up a little bit. Like that. And then... Sort of do something like this. Yes. That's, that's the thing. That's the trick right there. 
That one. Down here. Like that one. Down here. Up this side. We might do this on the other side as well. We'll have a look. We'll back off and we'll see if we actually like what we've done here first. Uh, I think we I think we are going to like it. At least I'm going to like it. I don't know about you guys. But something. Yeah. Maybe even some... Uh, uh, what are they? Fences between them? Just like this. Yeah. Hold on. This this will be really nice. Uh, like, oh, no, that one, and then that one, and that one. Yeah, check this out. That's about right. I like that. I like that. That is so cool. Walking down here. Let's do it. A walkabout on the level that you meant to see it at. Yeah. How cool is that? And then go up and over the bridge. Oh, and the horse is there. Really nice. Almost makes a love heart shape as well. Unintentionally. And then we come down this side and walk over there. Oh, that's amazing. How are we doing for time? Oh, man. I did not realize. Okay, guys. <laughs> We're going to have to end the episode off there. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!